tonight. So when you read through this testimony, there are some things that uh, are certainly eyebrow raising in here with regard to insisting. It says President Trump did insist that President Zelensky go to a microphone and say that he is opening investigations of Biden and 2016 election interference and that Zelensky should want to do this himself. Now, I would imagine there are a couple ways to look at that. How do you look at it? Well, I read that testimony uh, that you're talking about, uh, his opening statement, and, you know, there were some things in there that I think provided greater detail than we had seen before from some other career diplomats. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, again, this was about uh, quid pro quo and whether or not the Ukrainians were aware that military aid was being withheld. And on that most important issue, um, neither this witness or any other witness um, has provided any evidence that there was a quid pro quo. There were any evidence that the Ukrainians were aware that military aid was being withheld uh, on July 25th. And w unless and until they bring in a witness who is willing to say that there was uh, knowledge by someone that speaks Ukrainian to that fact, a quid pro quo is legally impossible. All right. So you heard the Democrats walk out. Obviously, they had a very different take on it than you did. They felt that they have that quid pro quo. So my question is on the Hill right now, just politically, what happens? Because it feels as though there was a big push to get this done very quickly. Nancy Pelosi kept saying that she wanted to move forward quickly. Now it kind of feels like it's, it's, it's slow walking a little bit. Is that your, your take on it? It changes every day, Martha. Uh, we don't know because they haven't made up their minds. This is Adam Schiff changing the rules literally day to day uh, based on what's happening. We don't know witnesses that are being called and um, what they're going to be focusing on. It really depends on what they hear. Um, ag again, this is, uh, you know, this is an abuse of power. This is uh, us finding out when we walk in the door what the rules of the day are going to be for that particular witness. And uh, it's really unfair for all of us that are trying to represent our constituents um, in this process. And that's why it should be conducted in open, uh, not behind closed doors, not as a secret grand jury where uh, Adam Schiff, who is a material witness in this case, uh, gets to make up the rules as they go. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's really unfortunate. You'd like to ask him questions uh, and you'd like to oh, talk to the whistleblower. Tell, tell us what you'd like to know. Well, well why, uh, why don't we know when the person who ultimately became a whistleblower first went to Chairman Schiff and his staff? When did they meet? How long did they meet? Did they talk about the Ukraine? Did they talk about military aid? Were they referred to a whistleblower lawyer? All of these things are facts. Well, they say they were. They, they say they didn't talk to Adam Schiff personally and that they were referred to a whistleblower lawyer. Who says whistleblower that, Mar lawyer. Well, Who says Schiff's, that, Martha? Schiff's office has said that. <laughs> Uh, they haven't said it under that. oath. Uh, they also said they had no contact with the whistleblower initially. Yeah. So uh, the only way we can get that testimony uh, accurately is under oath from either members of his staff or from the whistleblower, and he won't bring uh, those witnesses forward. We keep He keeps trotting in career ambassadors who are alarmed at uh, Donald Trump's unconventional approach to foreign policy. Who's surprised at that? And again, Ambassador Taylor uh, today, uh, I found him to be for very forthright. He had very strong opinions about uh, Donald Trump's approach to foreign policy. But again, the mainstream media reporting that he provided evidence of a, uh, of a quid pro quo involving military aid is false. I question him directly on that, and under Adam Schiff's rules, I can't tell you what he said, but I can tell you what he didn't say. And neither he or any other witness has provided testimony that the Ukrainians were aware uh, that military aid was being withheld. You can't have a quid pro quo with no quo. Yeah, so, th so that in combination with the fact that they say they didn't feel pressured, and, you know, when you add to that that they didn't know that the military aid had had a pause on it. Um, Martha, it makes it difficult to 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 judge their behavior after that as being as being something that they were pushed or threatened into doing. It, Martha, if this were a court case, the lawyers for the defense would be moving for a directed verdict. They'd be saying this case isn't allowed to go to the jury because the prosecution is missing an es essential element mm -hmm. of their case. There is no quid pro quo until someone from the Ukraine says. We knew that military aid was being withheld during that July 25th call, and that testimony hasn't come, and it's not coming. This is just another in the latest of 
uh, uh, frame job of the president. They, they tried to frame him for being a Russian agent and failed. They tried to frame him for obstructing justice using a legal standard that had never been applied to anyone else and failed. And now they're trying to frame him for a quid pro quo involving military aid where no Ukrainian yeah. was aware that military aid was being withheld. It's well, just, it's grossly unfair. I, I find the polls very interesting um, because there, there's movement in them. And, you know, whether or not that's meaningful at this point, we don't know. Um, but, but it is interesting to see these swing state polls. And I wonder if the, the process here is starting to hurt their case on the Democrats' side um, with the American people. But we'll see. We'll keep watching it. Uh, Congressman, always good to see you. Thank you very Thank much you, for being here tonight. Great to see you.